hear that because I, I'm feeling pretty nervous about my trip into space tomorrow for some of those reasons. You know, it is, it is a dangerous mission. I understand that, and I will be a long way from home. I, I'm pretty sure that I am going to miss my family quite a lot, and I hope that they will miss me. Um, what is the advice, listening to you just now, I mean, what advice do you have for me or other people that might be going to space to manage those feelings? Well, it's difficult, you know. You're not going to be uh, able to go out with friends to the cinema, to out to the bars and uh, various things. You're not going to be able to see your family's birthdays go past or nephews and nieces beginning to talk. It's uh, it's a challenge, you know. I've, I've spent a long time in my life. I'm only 28 years old, about to turn 29 here, actually. So there's my birthday going to be spent uh, down here with a crew of European and Italians, so, is, who are now my friends. When is your birthday, but, uh, uh, 31st of May. The 31st of May. I will make sure to, well, maybe not send you a card because it won't guarantee getting there, but something. We'll do something 31st of May. Sorry, I interrupted you. But, uh, no, no, of course. You know, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's very challenging. I've spent a lot of time on the road in my life. I've spent six months living in the Arctic. Um, you know, you miss things in life. You miss the smell of cut grass. I was freshly cut grass. You're approaching the summer back in the UK. And of course, from space, as of tomorrow, you'll be observing all the world's daylight, night processes and summer and winter in different hemispheres just by looking up and down, really. So it's, uh, it's certainly a challenge. But even David Livingstone, when he, went, when he died in Africa, the Africans kept his heart and sent his body back to be buried in the UK. So I think home is where the heart is. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not going to encounter any extraterrestrials up there that, that might want a piece of me like that. But I hope they send it back if they do. I mean, we're talking about going to space here. And you've, you've had an extraordinary career, even in you know, a short period of time already. Would you like to go to space or do you hope to go to space? Yes, please. When's, the, when's your next flight? <laughs> well, let me get this one. Let me sort out how I'm doing it this time and the next time. If you're anywhere close to where I am for the launch, definitely have you on board.